Hello, everybody. It is Wednesday, December 2nd, and time for our weekly update. We don't have a lot of, of brand new things going on, but I do want to let you know some of the activity going on around the church and a few of the things that are new. Uh, first, the update is on our construction, our renovation, excuse me. Our sanctuary painting is finishing today. Um, and so next week we will start working on the laying the carpet. So it's moving along very swiftly. We're excited about that. Uh, we've got material in for the pew cushions and things are being reworked. So we're excited that that's moving along. Next week also, we start work on the pavilion. We had some trusses delivered this week and we are excited to see that start to come up in the next few weeks. So we're still on track for about mid-December to have our sanctuary completed mid to late December. Uh, and, and that leads us into Christmas Eve. We are, I, I appreciate your prayers with this. We're trying to find, as I shared last week, that sweet spot, that balance between the growing numbers of the pandemic and the desire to be uh, in the sanctuary and experience Christmas Eve worship. So we're trying to find the best way to do that. I don't have a definite answer for you yet, but I ask for you to pray. Uh, pray for the virus to slow, for us to, to move quickly on our, our vaccines that are on their way. We feel like the light's at the end of the tunnel. We're so close, but we have been so faithful to be careful throughout this for so many months. We don't want to just throw all caution to the winds. So be in prayer for, for me, for our leaders, as we consider the options that we have for that. Know that we will have some Christmas Eve kits available to be delivered to the homes or to be picked up at the church. And we will have an online Christmas Eve service for sure. Whether or not we have anything in person, we just don't know yet. We're waiting to see how the counts come after Thanksgiving, and we'll make that announcement as quickly as we can. But regardless, we will have an online Christmas Eve service filmed in the sanctuary after it's done. So even if you're not able to come, don't feel comfortable with coming, you'll get to see it. You'll get to experience some of that. And of course, in our weekly update, I'll be able to share some pictures with you as that gets completed. I don't have anything to show today in the sanctuary because they're in the middle of moving pews back and it's not a, I'm not able to get in to get the pictures, but you'll get to see some of that coming together as they lay the new carpet next week. Uh, also, great news that we had our payroll protection loan that we that we were awarded has been forgiven. Uh, and so the Small Business Association has forgiven that. So we are in great shape with that. Excited about that. Now, some of the ministry things that are going on. This is where the rubber meets the road. Our giving tree. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your responses. Amanda Lucy and her team have put this together and it moves so quickly. We have all of the gifts Filled. So you have volunteered to fill all of those. We have money coming in. We have a few that we shop for and we have to fill in a few little gaps when something's missing. Uh, so the donations are appreciated and I, I do appreciate that. Our blessing box continues to literally overflow. I mean, we have people uh, are be emptied out more than overflow, but the, the support for that is wonderful. We have people filling it several times a day, four to six times a day, and uh, it's reaching out to a lot of families. We've applied for another grant. We welcome donations for that. And in the newsletter on the front page, the one that is emailed out today, mailed out in the next couple of days, in that you'll see some of the specific items that we could use extra help with. Some of those things that like canned proteins that are a little more expensive. And so donations are very helpful. And if you want to just get groceries, non-perishable items, we especially prefer the, the pop top lids for our canned goods so that people don't have to have a can opener, things that people can use if they don't have a can opener or if they're homeless, think of that. And you can fill that box anytime you would like to. And so just come by and put things in it. You don't have to bring it to our pantry or coordinate anything. Just feel free to take, take time to fill that. Our breakfast is meeting all-time highs in the number of meals that are being served. 120, 130 meals on a single Saturday. So that is going wonderfully so thank you to all those. So those keep going. Our small groups, as I shared last week, are beginning to grow. And we are looking for more small group hosts or leaders. If you're wondering about that, reach out to me. Contact the church office. We'll share with you what's involved. It's not high energy. It's not it's not a huge commitment, but we have small groups of about 10 that are meeting in the church. Some are meeting in homes. Some are meeting outside still, although it's getting a little chilly and a little dark for that. Um, we had great, I mean, phenomenal attendance, not this past Sunday, but the Sunday before that. And all that we can understand, that's the, the week before Thanksgiving, people were coming back and remembering their church, but also we had active sharing. We had people that were giving out our invitation cards. And remember, those are in the, the Bible box. 
outside of the church that you can pick up anytime, 24 seven. These are cards where there's a little QR code. So all you have to do is take your smartphone camera, face it at that card, and then that takes you to the YouTube site so you can watch the worship service. People did that, but people also shared on Facebook. And I noticed that week that, that we had huge, attend almost double our normal attendance by the, the normal standards that we do, which we try to be conservative with, almost double because people were sharing and commenting about it. So I encourage you, this is a great time to reach out to somebody, invite them to be part of an online community. Maybe they're not comfortable walking into a church the first time. What a great time to use this opportunity that we've developed all these online things. So I hope you'll visit last week's update to hear a lot more of the pandemic updates of the finances and, and responses that we have to that, the small groups. I ask that you continue to pray for the leaders, especially as we try to decide what to do for Christmas Eve, how to best respond to that. Don't hesitate to share your thoughts with me. Message me, text me, call me, email me. Let me know what your thoughts are. We're trying to look at all the angles, but pray for us as we do that. Uh, we're excited for, for all that's going on. So this week, I want to just close by saying I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, for me and for my family, it was a small gathering, but it was a wonderful time to just slow down and breathe again. Now, as we come into Advent, I am enjoying this Advent season in a special way. And if you if you miss the service, go back and join it online. Uh, we're focusing on the four Sundays of Advent in a really fun way. We have candles being lit each week as part of the service. We also have our choir that's meeting safely and recording some music for Advent. So our worship services are, are continue to be online and we have those wonderful opportunities for you to join. So please pick up an inv invitation card, share with somebody else what's going on in the church and I hope to get to see you soon, talk to you, visit with you, stay connected through a small group, reach out, let me know how I can be your pastor and know that I love you, miss you, and I'm so grateful that we found so many ways to stay connected in this time. Hope you have a blessed day and of course, be a blessing.